Welcome to the press conference of the championship game of the 2018 European Amer American Football Championships. Today's championship ended up in the hands of France with the score 28-14 and we have today here head coach Patrick Ezume and the three-time MVP and the tournament MVP Paul Durand and from Team Austria head coach Schwan Fata and Berhard Saikovic. Now um, head coach Ezume, the first ever championship, European championship for Team France, what's going through your mind right now after this great victory? Uh, the first thing that goes through my mind is why I didn't bring a second pair of pants. Um, no, but seriously, obviously, I'm very happy uh, to bring this title to France for the first time. Uh, and overall, the second one for France in, a, in, in two years, that's major for obviously France in general. Uh, after winning a World Cup in another sport to bring a European title home, that's big. But, um, you know, it feels very good. Uh, but I tip my heads off to, to my good friend, Shuan Fatao, who sits over there. We're good friends. And what, every time we face, it's a hard, hard battle. And first half, he, he kicked my ass pretty good. Now, as a three-time MVP, you could probably say that your tournament went fairly well. But as for this game, what do you think was the, de was, was the uh, deciding factor that brought the championship to Team France today? <coughs> Uh, right now, I don't know. Um, we we, we fight we fight till the end. At the halftime, we say, okay, we're gonna count pounds at the end of the the game and see who got more. We got more, and uh, we we really trying to to execute scheme and coaches make good adjustment on uh, second half, so it works and we are lucky. And uh, congratulations to the Austrian team for for the, this nice game. So a tough loss for Team Austria today, head coach uh, Juan Fata. During the halftime interviews, you said that you would make some adjustments. Did those actually go as planned, or should you have perhaps done something differently today? Um, first of all, congratulations to Patrick and whole Team uh, France. Uh, they did a great job. Uh, obviously, they worked a long, long time on this one. It finally panned out for him. So that, that's, that's uh, always good to see that because they invested a lot of time and money into this and really spent time on it. Uh, we, we actually, my, my adjustments didn't work out because in the third quarter they scored twice and that was the decisive, uh, that was the difference. But um, what, I was, what I meant, what I explained in half t at halftime was what we did in the first half and actually we tried to put pressure on, uh, on Paul, who's a great quarterback, had a great tournament and deserves all the MVPs and accolades he won. And we try to get on him and uh, put some pressure on him to stop the running game, which I thought we did a pretty good job. Uh, and then uh, obviously we didn't. We, we, we knew they were going to be very explosive downfield, and they did that. And uh, it's very tough to stop that offense consistently. And we spent a lot of time on the field, uh, especially in the third quarter. They came back, scored twice. We couldn't get anything really going on offense for a short period of time. And a cl classy team like France, they just they just eat you up at that time. And then we. Caught, caught ourselves a little bit towards the end of the third, beginning of fourth, and then nothing really happened afterwards. I mean, this was a, a explosive in the, after the halftime, which uh, yeah got us in the hole, and uh, we had no no answer for it. Fought hard. I think f our team can be very proud. We uh, this is a short project. We started last last uh, last year's December with this one, and uh, really. Uh, try to f re reform a new team, and that, that to come back and be a, a European vice champion. That's pretty impressive in, in my books and uh, obviously give us some more time and we see what happens in the future. But this year is now, this is France's year and they deserve it and there's nothing else to say. Um, Berhard Saikovic, you personally had a fine performance today with, with uh, five catches. What's your personal summary of the game today? Um, offensively, we just didn't score enough. Like zero points in the second half. Um, I don't know about the defense. Special teams never got going like in the other games. Um, yeah, France w just was better today. I don't know. A long week and three hard games behind all of you. I would ask for your comments on the 
overall experience of the entire tournament this week? Yeah, um, I think uh, it's a tough schedule. Uh, we played three three games in a five day span, which is uh, I said it before is borderline dangerous because uh, guys get hurt. You would like to have this tournament a little bit longer so you can actually have more than 48 hours between the game. But obviously, since it's an amateur football game, you can't do that because you only have a limited amount of time. So that's the nature of the beast, I guess. But other than that, I think it was well organized uh, uh, at the hotel, the facilities, everything worked out fine. Um, and the field and the stadium was great. So I think it was a positive experience for the players as well. I think it's always important to have such a big championship uh, tournament to get together, you know, the best teams, the coaches, because it, it creates a certain atmosphere, a certain togetherness of the football community. And, and you know, you, you meet new people, make friends for a lifetime here on these tournaments. And, and, and it's not only about winning a championship, it's about growing our game. And I think that's what you do on big tournaments like this. <coughs> uh, it was uh, an amazing uh, event, uh, really, really hard to play because, uh, like coach say, you, you have to play f three games in five days. But uh, other than that, like off the field, it was amazing. People were, were amazing. Organization was like really, really, really sharp. So it was it was really great to be there. And um, thanks for all the the the, the Finnish people who, who, who take care of the organization. Really thanks. I think there's nothing to add. Um, great experience for all of us, even though we lost. Um, yeah, perfectly organized. Um, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I said that before in an interview. I thought IFAF did a great job uh, with this tournament. I thought uh, all the all and the, and the city of Vanta did a great job. I think they were very welcoming. And I, I just gotta say, f you know, for Austria, that we're really, really grateful to be here. It was an awesome experience. I, I can't complain about anything. Yeah, I, I got. A, I had a great uh, air condition in my hotel room, so I'm all right. And uh, uh, no, the, everybody here, organization-wise, they were very serious, very professional. And uh, that's that's uh, not always in the past. I experienced that, uh, and and this time it was really awesome. And uh, I can, can only tap my hat to everybody that organized it, including you guys, uh, uh, putting all the time an hour in it. We had a nice stream. We c people could see it. I mean, we could share all the experiences with my my family, for example. They watched it at home, so I, I think it was a great uh, event. And uh, like Patrick said, it's never just about winning and losing. I mean, it's all about the the growing. I mean, our program will grow out of this. This was a very important experience experience for 18, 19 year olds we have in the roster. They will grow on this. They will be a, one tournament older, and the same for Patrick's people. You know, the younger guys probably Paul is 30 now i think you still got some years left but obviously it is is important for every aspect my coaching staff want to thank them they did a hell of a job it's not easy with me they did a hell of a job and uh staff did a hell of a job and uh like i said i think uh patrick is a classy guy He's, he, he he did a great job and i i really enjoyed it it, it hurts uh, but i think in general it's just a very pleasant experience Any questions from the media personnel present? There were um, a lot of fans on both sides today. I would like to have you give your comments and regards in your own preferred language to the fans <coughs> present. Ja, liebe Grüße an, an nach Österreich und uh, alle Fans, die uh, am Bildschirm gefiebert haben. Wir hätten es gerne nach Hause gebracht. Uh, die Jungs haben gekämpft, haben gefightet. Uh, ein guter Coach hat zu mir mal gesagt, du kannst einfach nicht alle gewinnen. Und dieses Jahr war es einmal dieses Jahr one of those days, aber wir wissen, wir haben euch gespürt und es war sehr, sehr toll, euch den Support zu haben aus Österreich. Vielen, vielen Dank. Uh, wir haben das sehr genossen hier und wir wussten mit eurem Support, dass wir sehr weit kommen können und das ist genau passiert. Ja, auch von mir danke alle, die zugeschaut haben hier im Stadion oder zu Hause vom Fernseher, wie auch immer. Um wir haben uns über jeden Einzelnen gefreut und ähm, ja, wir haben das auch irgendwie gespürt und hat uns geholfen. Leider nicht bis ganz zum Ende, aber hat uns geholfen. Äh, D'abord, on va, je vais remercier les les les, les 4 5 supporters français qui étaient dans les tribunes, qui ont fait vraiment du bruit, même K5. 
Et, euh, et ensuite, tous ceux qui nous ont envoyé des messages euh, depuis, euh, depuis la France, euh, on a reçu ces engouement et, euh, et ça nous a donné beaucoup, beaucoup de force. Euh, et puis là, un petit message personnel à ma famille. Euh, merci, merci de nous avoir regardé, de nous avoir regardé. Vous m'avez donné plein de force. Vive la France, vive la diversité, c'est tout. Bonne soirée. Well said, y'all. Thank you very much.